Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. Um, you know I've been trying to eat healthy and get on my weight kick, right? Weight loss kick. But I, it was my anniversary. We went away. I had dessert. I had burger. I had chips. I had French fries. I had bad stuff. I did all the wrong stuff that I shouldn't do. And I came back from my anniversary trip. We went to Atlantic City. We didn't go far. We were in New York. I went to Atlantic City, which is in Jersey. About, I think our hotel is maybe three hours from here. Um, we stay at um, Ara's. And um, yeah, I ate and I did. And I'm not even going to go on the scale. I'm going to keep it real. I hope the TV is not too loud. I'm watching um, something where they check people at the airport and find drugs and all of that. But anywho, um, like I said, I've been eating things that I shouldn't eat and I've been struggling to get back to where I used to be and what I used to be. So what I'm going to do to keep me on track, I'm going to bulk prep. So instead of making um, small portions of stuff and last maybe, you know, a couple of days, I'm going to make enough food, maybe four days at a time. And I'm going to make different stuff and I'm going to make stuff every day. So even when four days up, the stuff that I make on day um, the second day can go another you know what I mean like I don't want to make everything one day because in five days then that's it then you have to make again what I want to do is make something today something tomorrow so what I'm trying to do is like this one expire say this one expired today the other one won't expire until tomorrow if you get what I'm saying so but today and then you know I'll see it might not even be that way it might be but I'm going to be making stuff Periodically, I just want to get into the habit of having so much stuff that I have no choice but to eat healthy stuff because I love healthy food. It's just that sometimes it's not prepared and there's nothing to eat. And my husband say, "You want me to take you to Ve Veggie Castle, which is a vegan place, and you do get like string beans and quinoa. I always take the quinoa, and they have the quinoa mixed with some chickpeas. The quinoa is mixed with chickpeas and some kind of greens. It can be kale or spinach. And then they serve that as a serving. Then they have like a vegan mac meat. And you get to pick two protein and three um, with a large meal that I always get. And, and um, But I usually eat it in two seconds. Um, so you get like, um, you can get mac and cheese. I, re I took, think I could try that maybe once or twice. Um, I always take, they have this delicious pasta, I'm not gonna lie. I always take it. It's like, spaghetti with um, veggies, like a lot of veggies, like a Chinese five spice mix thingy. I always take that and take the quinoa and a green, right? And then I take my two protein. So I see, I get the greens and the things, so I always think the pasta is okay because it has vegetable and I get my quinoa and I get my um, the veg, the greens. I always take a green. So quinoa, um, if you guys know, it's high in protein. And iron fiber, right? Uh, where's the fiber on here? Well, it's have three grams of fiber, right? A quarter cup. So if I have a half a cup, I'll get six grams of fiber, which is great because woman is supposed to get 25 grams of fiber per day. I always try for more. Uh, there's no limit for me. I like to get fiber in, which is good for you, good for weight loss, and all this good stuff going to the bathroom. And then the protein on here says six in a quarter cup. So if I have a half a cup, I'm gonna, and that's, um, I think a quarter cup dry. I don't, I'm gonna look it up cook, because I think it double once you get it cooked, the serving double. But anywho, it's high protein. Another thing that's very high protein, but has a lot of calories, is chickpeas. Um, the protein in here say 10 grams of protein per serving. So guys, honestly, we don't need to, vegans don't need to be drinking drinking protein shakes to stick to these things. You know, we just do it because it's quick, it's tasty. And it's just a quick way to get the protein. But if I pre-cook my meals and have my meals, I know that I'm using my high protein source, like chickpeas, a high protein and high fiber, like chick, um, quinoa, and then I have this bean that came in this bag like that, that was gifted to me by my friend. She sent me some groceries and this was a bean that was picked up at the store. I think it's navy bean, it was picked up at the bin. You know when you buy from Old Foods, because it came from Old Foods, from the bin. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna look it up on Google and see what it is. Not that I care, I, I love beans and I'll eat anyone, but I think this might be either navy or 
One of those beans. Maybe not maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Let's look it up and Google together. But isn't that nice? You have a friend that's in your grocery every now and then instead of flowers. So, yeah, I'm blessed. God is good. Yeah, I love flowers too, don't get me wrong. But if you look right now, um, in my house, there's flowers still from Valentine that's still going good, you know, real good. And I have flowers upstairs that my husband got me um, when I got treatment um, a couple of days ago. Yes, guys, I'm back on treatment. Um, I got my first one. I'm doing 14 treatment. Let's see what bean this is. Pento. Oh, I love pento beans. That's what they serve at Chipotle. So I'm going to make some pento beans, and I'm going to make um, chickpeas, and I'm going to make quinoa, and I'm going to make spinach. Um, yeah, so I can have it. I'm just going to have them. So when I want something, I know I'm eating only old food because I really need to get back on that track of eating old food. I'm going to eat this at noon. All of this can look that's in here. Uh, I'm going to eat it and I have tons of apple and orange and pear. I have stuff, but it's tough, guys. It's not so easy. It's easy, but not so easy. It's easy if you have the stuff prep and I like savory food. And I like hot food, so if I cook these things and I have them available right now, I have nothing but I have white rice in there, which I would rather have brown, but my, I made it for my husband and there was no brown, so I ate some yesterday. I made some mushroom and I use a vegan sausage. Another thing, I need to get away from this vegan sausage. I was in um, Trader Joe's to get um, Ezekiel bread. Because I like Ezekiel bread to make my avocado toast. Because it's a better source of plenty of fiber and protein versus the regular bread. So I went to get it because it's cheaper in um, Trader Joe's. It's only $5, guys. In Whole Foods, it's 10 And in Trader Joe's, it's 5 So just a little info for you if you eat Ezekiel, whether you want to try it out. I went in there to get that. And then I end up looking at the vegan stuff and they have so much vegan stuff and I bought some garbage. I need to not do that. I bought, I made pizza the other day when I eat it coming. So I'm not getting on scale to see. My sister is calling. Um, I'm not getting on the scale to see how, you know, what damage I did with this getaway and other stuff. I'll be back. Okay guys, so quinoa is finished. Nice and fluffy. So just now when my sister called was to tell me that my mom is in the hospital. It's like I can't get a break guys. I can't get a break. They're saying that she maybe her appendix. Like I feel like I just can't get a break because at 5 a.m. this morning um, a lady, a friend of mine passed. Um, you know, older lady. Um, 85 years old. Um, I used to take care of her. And we know people, you know, we get older and we die. Um, this is why we have to enjoy life, you know. And I got that news at 5 a.m. and then by the little after 10, my mother's in the hospital. It's like, it's a lot. But I'm still trying, you know, when things happen like this, you still have to trust God and you still have to live. So that's why I'm still doing my preparation because you guys know I'm going through my own personal stuff with my personal issue with this cancer thing. By the way, I just got another treatment. Um, I have a session of 14 treatment. I did one this Friday, it's Monday today, and um, I did not expect to hear this news today with my mom. The other lady, you know, we know, like I said, she was in the nursing home, we know, we know what comes with, you know, getting older and stuff, and it's kind of like, even though I still got sad, you know, it did hit me, I didn't expect that either, but it was kind of like, okay, you know, it's not a shock, you know, but bad news man the bad news they keep coming i'm not interested in hearing anything else i cannot i'm like but i'm not gonna dwell on it i'm gonna trust god so if i trust god and know that my mom is gonna be okay i can't be here whining complaining so anywho that's my quinoa i have the chickpeas over there cooking i'm gonna wash this um bean and put it on now and then I'm going to sit and add this because it's almost time to eat because I said I was going to eat this at noon. And now it's um, six minutes to that time. So I'm going to put it over here. 
um, and I'm going to wash this beans, the pinto beans, and put them on and then I'm going to add, you know, I'm going to season them up, cook them really nice and tasty and spicy and I'm going to put bell pepper in the beans and onion and um, I already have all spice you know, pimento seed, if you're Jamaican, you know, we say pimento seed here in America, they say all spice, I already have all spice, you know, the chickpeas. So I'm going to have my chick, I'm going to cook the chickpeas and I'm going to put, let it cool down and later on I'm going to put half in the freezer, or so the beans, or half in the freezer because, um, you know, if you keep it too long, um, it will spoil. And once it's free, I freeze it. Then I'll be able to next week to just go and take it out and defrost and have chickpeas and because like I said I'm gonna cook again tomorrow possibly and also maybe Thursday we'll see because um, my birthday is on Friday by the way and um, I'm signing up on Amazon so if you guys would like to buy me a gift I'll really appreciate it if you can go on there you put my name in my YouTube name in and um, you can get me a gift if you like to get me a gift um, yeah. I would really appreciate it. So my birthday is on Friday. It's now uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four days to my birthday. Guys, I have no invitation sent out. I have nothing planned. This is not usually how I do it. I don't know what's going on with me. Usually I would invite my friends already. And we know where we're going. I would know what I'm wearing. I have no clue what I'm wearing. I have no clue if I'm even going anywhere. I don't know why I'm in this kind of, kind of a funk and I need to get it together. I never did this before. This is new. Not having anywhere to go, nothing planned, not knowing what I'm wearing. Usually I know what I'm wearing. I'm already thinking what I'm going to do with my locks when I had my locks. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But one thing and one, one step at a time, one day at a time, let me prepare my food so I can at least, because there's no birthday without me. You know, my birthday, I can't celebrate my birthday if I don't take care of my body and um, you know, there's no and get healthy and feel good and all of that. There's no so this is important. What I'm doing is very important. You know, I haven't gone out to walk yet today and I would love to. But this is also important. If I go out and walk and then come back in at, at this and I have a protein shake that I might end up having the leftover mushroom I made yesterday with the white rice and not cooking. So cooking is important, get this food cool down, store it. And then I can just get up and go walk every day and knowing that food is in the refrigerator. And if I feel like I come back in and I want to cook something else, I can. So I'm going to cook these. The, the quinoa is already done. The chickpeas is on the stove. I'm going to put wash the, I put it in the strainer to rinse it. I'm going to wash the, what is this, pento beans. And I'm going to cook them down and, you know, we're just going to be making healthy food. And drinking my water. I have some, I just made some coffee too. I'm going to sip some black coffee. I'm going to sit and just drink that before I have my fruit. Um, so let's get to cooking the pinto beans. This is what the pinto beans are looking like. And, um, and I'm excited about doing this because I haven't done a bulk prep. You know, I make things here and there. I do cook. I'll make like big, huge things of cabbage and then I'll make another thing or whatever. But, you know, I'm really spending this time today to do some bulk cooking. And tomorrow I should steam a big thing of cabbage as well. So I can add options, you know. So if we're getting hungry, let's talk in and more cooking. Even though I'm not gonna eat this, now I'm gonna have the fruit, like I told you, and uh, my coffee. But um, I just want to have food that's healthy, oil-free food. You know, I want to stop eating rice, guys, um, to see what happened. And I'm not telling you that rice is bad. You know, preferably brown rice is okay. But I want to see what happened. I don't rice don't have as much protein and fiber as quinoa um quinoa having so much protein that it's having protein that your body can't um replicate um pro it has um, nine different type um of you know i know protein is like protein is one word but it has nine different essential type of protein in it that your body don't replicate can make so i want to see what will happen if i stick with quinoa for a while and leave the rice alone I also want to leave oil alone, um, you know, sugar, you know, those things, flour, white flour. And I feel like if you just cut those things out, I know they will work, guys. I know it will work for me and it will work for you if you just cut those things out. But don't starve yourself. Pile the food in. Eat the good food. Pile the good food in. Not, when I say pile it in, don't, don't eat too big. I don't mean it like that. But 
stock yourself up with nutrients, meaning that, you know, spinach, kale, all those good stuff, carrots, get them in, get the good beans in, quinoa. I'm so excited about this. So I'll see you when I see you and show you more progress. All right, let me go um, do this and get something to eat. Okay, so I'm going to have, um, of course, I'm going to clean these up. They have, you know, like salmon and them and stuff. But celery, I'm going to add onion, um, piece of ginger. I'm going to put this in the chickpeas. I'm going to smash it, put it in the chickpeas. Um, garlic, going in both of them. Um, carrots, what else we have? Um, I'm going to add some jalapeno pepper. We have some scotch bonnet pepper as well in thyme. Um, I already add thyme to the, what do you call it? The pinto beans. I'm going to add this thyme to the chickpeas with ginger and, you know, carrots and all those good stuff. I'm going to also add potatoes to the chickpeas. I'm not adding any potatoes to the what you call this pinto beans i'm gonna add um, bell pepper to the pinto beans bell pepper i'm gonna add onions i'm gonna add this to the, but the rest of the stuff will be going oh and i'm also gonna put um celery in there but the carrots are going into the chickpeas and potatoes i don't think i'm putting any carrots in here i don't know i'll think about that i might also put carrots in the pinto beans but you know, i just feel like it was, you know it's a, it would be better with the Jalapeno pepper, bell pepper, and celery. Yeah, so this is what's going in there. I just wanted to show you what's going in there. So I'm going to cut them up and get them in there because that chickpea should be cooked. And I'm thinking, should I take some of the chickpea out and mix it with some quinoa? So, or just leave it on its own. I don't know. But um, I'll show you guys the finished result. All right, so I'm going to get cut in. I'm so excited because adding all these veggies in the bean is not only going to give me protein from the and, and carbs from the beans, I'm also going to get some veggies as well. So I'm excited guys because, you know, it's hard to fall off track when you have stuff prepared, you know what I mean? But right now it's 10 minutes after one and all I had was the three cups of cantaloupe and black coffee. So your girl is hungry, but I'm going to let this get cooking. And I'm gonna get me a salad. So I'll come back and after I cut these up, show this to you and also show you the salad that I'm gonna have. All right, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got the veggies in the pot. This is the, um, what you call it? The, I keep forgetting, pinto beans. It's not finished. But I mean, I could have it just like this right now because the beans are cooked and veggies, you can eat them raw and the, the veggies have been in there now for a few minutes. But it's gonna cook for, you know, another 15 minutes. Make sure the veggies are cooked and the flavors are combined and everything come together. So this is it. The peppers, onion, celery and carrot. And then over here we have the chickpea. This one of, um, that's ginger, you see right there. Um, it has potato, carrot, it has um, uh, um, the scotch bonnet pepper, carrot, um, celery, um, jalapeno, yeah, and bell pepper. I don't know if I said this has jalapenos as well, and a jalapeno, you know, so you see veggies and bean. I didn't use no oil, no butter. Your girl is not plain because I need to get it together and butter and oil is not going to help me. And then I'm going to have this right now. This is my salad I'm having right now. It has um, a whole big fat jalapeno cut up right here. Try to take out some of the seeds so it's not too spicy. Then we got some tomatoes, we got cucumber. We got a whole bed of lettuce under the bottom, romaine and um, uh, mixed greens. We got some pickles, put some pickles here. Oh, I forgot to put um, olives. Let me put some olives. And come back here to talk about it. I'm the only one who's having this, so I can get my hands in here. But let's put some olives right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. I'm gonna use the beans as well because I love it so much. So yeah, all right, let's get into it now. So this is the 
salad that I'm going to have. I have chickpeas, pickle, cucumber, better lettuce under the bottom, tomato, um, avocado, jalapeno, and um, so your girl getting her nutrients. As you see, this is a nutrients, high nutrients diet that will help lose weight. When you get all this fiber and nutrients and you don't nourish your body, it will help with weight loss. And like I said, I have all, um, you know, veggies in this. So when I eat this with the quinoa, you know, I don't have to worry about adding vegetables, but I'm gonna also cook some spinach. So I'll be having spinach on the side with the quinoa and this on top of the quinoa when I eat it, whenever I feel like. I don't know when I'm gonna eat them, what I'm gonna eat later, but I'll show you guys when I eat again. But so far, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna put some of the, uh, what do you call this, the water on it, that from the olive, a little bit of that, mix in with a little bit of salad dressing, because I don't wanna overdo it with the salad dressing. I'm just gonna stick with a two tablespoon and use some of that to make extra, you know, but this on its own, for sure is tasty. So I'm excited guys. Look at look at me getting it together. Look at look at me get it together. Have a for the win. Yeah. So let me finish with this and eat and I'll come back and film on what's going on. And what I'm doing, what I'm eating. I'm gonna make the spinach. Yeah, this is me reclaiming my life. I also wanna go out and walk. But first thing first, it's almost two and I'm starving. Because all I had was the can open coffee. And what we are not gonna do is starve ourselves. We don't starve to lose weight. We eat healthy food, healthy whole food, and get our body moving to lose weight. All right, so no starving. Just good food and exercise. I noticed I told you guys the vegetables that I put in there and peppers and whatever, you know, but I didn't tell you that I also add black pepper to both of them. I also add some parsley flakes to both of them. Let's put these back. The turmeric and curry was only in the chickpeas. Right? This is finished. And then I also add some complete seasoning. Make sure. Did I move it too fast? This is it. And then I put the paprika only in the pento beans. I didn't put any in the curry chickpeas. And also, of course, garlic powder is in both of them. I also put some um, allspice in both, um, pimento seed, um, cumin, which is finished. So I'm going to add this to my list. Turmeric, I don't have to add to my list because I have a new container up here. So that's what's in there. That's the spices. I didn't eat yet. I'm still <laughs> sitting here with that figure. I said, why not just wrap it up and let them know what's in it, you know? So um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to make spinach and all that's going to be in there is some Himalayan salt. Um, I'm going to use fresh garlic, Himalayan salt, some powder garlic as well, onions, and you know, that's it, and a little black pepper. Yeah, so I'm going to make spinach. So we have quinoa, we have chickpeas curry, we have pinto beans, and I'm going to make spinach. So we're going to have quinoa greens and one of these. That's what's going to be happening. What I'm going to do though is um, I'm not going to keep all of this in the refrigerator. I'm going to bring some downstairs and put in our freezer down here because like I said, I'm not going to finish all of this and it's going to end up in the trash. We don't have time for that. I want to cool down tonight, not now, but you know, hours from now, about four or five hours and it's cool down completely. I'll put it in containers and I'll put it in the freezer, some of it. And then some I'll keep here in this refrigerator up here so I can add it. I just have good clean every day. I know that there's no oil, no lard. You know, you buy pencil and they put lard and fat and stuff to make it taste good. And it doesn't need it because it tastes good on its own. When you put the spices and the veggies, it's good on its own, both of them. I usually put coconut milk in my chickpeas curry. I'm skipping that because coconut milk has a lot of fat. And not that I don't eat fat, as you can see, I'm eating the avocado. I just don't want to be having uber fat, like too much, way too much fat. But I'm not running from fat. Fat is good for your brain. It's a good thing. Fat is good. So don't not eat fat, but I don't want to have a whole can of coconut milk in there. Because I can always, when I'm eating it, I can decide I want to have chickpeas with some quinoa and half of an avocado okay so and then i'll get fat that way so don't think i'm not eating fat don't run from fat don't overeat fat fat make you fat 
sugar make you fat, white flour make you fat. We know the stuff that make her fat. We're not stupid. We just, you know, do stupid stuff sometimes. Me included. Sometimes I make mistaken. I don't know. We do stupid stuff, guys. But um, as you can see, I'm always trying. I got my fruit earlier now. I'm having more fruits and vegetables because tomato and avocado is considered a, um, fruit. So we're having fruits and vegetables. Balance. I got enough for the day. And like I said, I'm going to eat later quinoa on one of these. And I'm going to stop eating. One sixty and it, guys, I'm going to cut it out. So let me have a, I'm going to have a glass of water right now. And I'm um, going to have 16 ounces of water. I have 16 ounces already and I have coffee, tea, fruit. I'm going to have another 16 ounces of water right now before I eat this. And um, yeah, let's keep it healthy. So that's what's in my thing. I'm excited, like I said before, and I keep saying because I am. And guys, pray for me and keep your finger crossed that I just stay on this journey because I really need to stay on this journey and get this weight up. I'm not getting on the scale. Like I said, I screw up. I know I screw up, and I also went to a Galentine's party um, two days ago, and I ate chips too much chips. What else? They had salad though. I had plenty of salad. They had vegan um, spring roll, which, you know, those things have grease and stuff. I had um, vegetable dumplings, you know, so, yeah, the girl did eat, you know. We're going to do that from time to time, but when you have a goal, you have to really be careful, but I know um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm human. I'm gonna eat sometimes when I go to these things I want to enjoy myself. Once it's vegan, I'm gonna eat it. I'm supposed to be going to, my birthday is on Friday, I might go out and eat. I can't control what they put in the food. So for the rest of the week, it's Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for the next four days at least, I know I don't want any oil. Well, you know, the salad dressing I'm gonna put on here now, do I have a little bit of oil? And the avocado, see why didn't add oil to it? Because some things that you use already have oil, so don't add any extra, okay? Because then you, you end up overdoing it and we don't get any results. And I'm about getting some results, I'm not playing. I know I messed up and everything, but that don't mean the next four days I can't drop a pound, you know what I mean? Or even two, let's say for two, but we don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna add um, this robust. It's 70 calories and um, yeah, I'm going to add this, two tablespoons of this and um, like I said, I'm going to use um, two tablespoons of the water from the pick, the, not the pick, from the olives with it and put it on it and then that's what it is. So I'll see you again when I eat something else. So y'all weren't going to tell me if I got my red onions? You weren't going to tell, you know how much I love red onions? I was about to sit down to eat and I was like, after I put the dressing and stuff on, and then I was like, where's the red onions? So this is the final, final. <laughs> I'm really going to eat now, guys. I know I keep coming back, but I'm really going to eat now. I'm so hungry. And what we're not going to do is starve ourselves to lose weight. We're going to eat, nourish our body, and get this weight off. And it be back. Okay, guys. I'm going to hit the road and take a walk and try to burn some calories because we're serious about our weight loss, so... Not only eating, but we have to also move as much as possible. So, let's get it. I'll see you when I come back. I'm not going to take you because I'm already on the phone. My friend Olin, we're going to have a conversation, you know, with, on the phone chatting and stuff like that. So, when I come back, I'll show you my stats, how much steps I take and all those good stuff. All right? See you when I get back. Okay, guys. I'm back from my walk. Let me show you my stats. I did 7,000 um 175 step yeah i came in because not only i'm getting hungry <laughs> um i um want to go walk with my husband when he get up so i need my food to digest i don't want to eat after six it's almost it's 5 27 i want to eat before 6 p.m so if i'm out there walking i can't eat so it's balanced guys it's a balance I wanted to cook earlier, so I didn't go walk and I cook. That's part of contribute to my health. I wanted to stay out longer. I had to stop that and come back and get my meal in because so it's you have to it's a balance, you know what I mean? So if I stayed out and did any more, I wouldn't be able to come in and make my spinach and eat my food. So I'm gonna make three bags. This one looks like to wash it well. This one looks like it's going bad. 
This one looks fine. This one looks a little. Yeah, no, it's not spoiled. But you know, maybe one in there is going better too, because you know, they show that brown color, water color thing. Anyway, that's why I need to cook them right now, the whole thing. Just cook it and get it over with. And I'll come back and show you my dinner. Um, yeah. And let me show you what I'm looking like. Um, because I was in that big green pajama earlier. So now I'm in my workout clothes. So this is what I'm looking like. I'm not holding my stomach in. Still a long way to go, guys. And like I said, I'm sure with all that eating that I did on um our anniversary getaway, that eating that I did with that chips and fries and stuff like that, you know. I'm just keeping it real, I'm human. I'm reeling it back in though. But from here I look great. Because when you go down here, I'm like, oh my tummy, I don't like it. But um, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me cook these spinach real quick and I'll be back in a second to show you um the plate put together. Be back. Okay, guys, here's dinner. I have the chickpeas curry, um, quinoa spinach. It's a lot. I know it don't look like a lot. It's a whole cup of this, a whole cup of this, and uh, um, the whole bag of one of those spinach I show you. You know, when it wilt down, how it is. So it's a lot of greens. It might not look like it, but it is. It's a lot of food. Steamy hot. All right, guys, I'm going to close out the video. So this is what I eat in a day and me bulk prepping, reclaiming my life, eating well. So I know it's going to pay off and I know you'll see it. I know I keep promising you that you're going to see it. But guys, it doesn't happen overnight. It don't happen in one week, two weeks. So if you've been hearing me saying that one week, two weeks, be patient. It's going to take some months. Okay. But you will see the changes eventually. I just have to get back to life because I was away eating the shit like I told you. And I'm um, eating garbage. And um, yeah. So now I'm back home. And as you can see, I prep all this food. And um I'll be eating healthy, you know, and next week we'll keep making food, prepping even oats and have that for breakfast. I'm going to get it together. Um, so stay tuned. See me reclaim my life, lose this weight and get back to my old self. All right. So subscribe, like the video, share the video and come back and mess with your girls. See you in another one. Bye.